It's beginning of day two. These punks for breakfast are going to have bacon, eggs, and toast, and I'm going to have coffee and maybe a celery stick. I don't know. Maybe some nuts. Some carrots. Mm. So I didn't sleep so well last night. I'm not sure if I got all jacked up from injecting all those nutrients in me yesterday or if it's just my mind wouldn't stop. But we'll see what today brings. I know what the morning's gonna bring. It's gonna bring hardship. It's not gonna bring any bake. So here we go. Will you kill me if I get you in the picture, Sarah? Yes. Okay, so Sarah's not gonna be in the picture, but you can see here I'll start on the far left where the delicious eggs that I won't be eating are. And then I'll pan, get it, pan to the right. The bacon, which is not just typical store-bought bacon, it's uh, it's naturally smoked, so it's probably hit by lightning in a forest. While wow, some hickory hickory chips. Anyway, stupid joke. So it's not typical store-bought bacon. It's delicious, but I don't care because I'm not having any. And then we'll pan over to my delicious breakfast. And it's salad again. Guess who loves salad? So I got pretty much the same thing as yesterday in there. Yeah. I'll tell you what's not in there, that's easier. I want Bacon and eggs. I want Well this is interesting, I haven't even been able to finish this salad this morning. I'm full. And I don't feel like stuffing my face with any more of it. And I don't know why that is, I usually have a pretty good appetite in the morning, so... Whatever. Save it for later. What I'm not going to do is eat that last piece of bacon. <laughs> so it's 2 o'clock. I don't feel all that different. I'm still kind of tired. I don't know if that was from a bad sleep last night or not. I haven't really had any powerful cravings to speak of yet. Although I have noticed something and that's the habits that I have. There have been a couple times when I opened a a cupboard door or went in the fridge to grab something like cheese or crackers and had to stop myself and it's it wasn't because I was craving them hardcore it was because it's habit to just go in there and grab some carbs or some dairy products and just shove them in and I, I just had lunch which was leftover salad and half a banana and I'm not actually hungry but I find myself going to the fridge or the the cupboard to grab stuff so it's very interesting what the mind does and the different habits that we get into. One thing I've been doing is making sure that I'm getting loaded up on water. So I've read before that quite often when you feel hunger, what you're actually feeling is thirst. So the few articles or people I heard talk about this recommended before you eat anything, when you think that you're hungry, drink a glass of water first and see where it goes from there. If you're still hungry a few minutes later, then you can eat. What's interesting about that though is that I've heard it's not good to mix water and food so probably should wait 10 to 15 minutes before you eat anything after downing some water. I don't know, I've just been drinking water. I don't really have a strategy on this kind of thing. I'm just just winging it and seeing what happens and like I mentioned before, the main thing is to retool my brain. That's why I'm doing this. To get over the fear of the unknown, to get over the fear of being hungry, to get over the anxiety of not being able to eat, eat whatever I want. And so far, so good. It's only day two though, so maybe I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. I'll let you know how supper goes. So it's quarter to three. Not much longer. Not much time has passed since the previous video. <clears throat> and now I'm ravenous for some reason all of a sudden. So I'm gonna eat some avocado, some more salad. And quite frankly, I've started to miss food, regular food, regular food. That's my son crying in the background, he just had waking up from a nap. So, yeah, a lot can happen in 30 minutes where now I'm not looking forward to a salad. I'm gonna eat one anyway, I should probably juice again since I haven't juiced today, so yeah. This might be more challenging than I expected. 
Right, it's nearly supper time and I gotta whisper this, get a little closer. I'm a little pissed off about the idea of eating a salad because I just don't feel like another salad. So only <laughs> day two, not even the end of day two and I'm already tired of what I'm eating. So, oh and by the way I had to whisper that because I don't want my son to repeat that. He seems to latch on to words like that. And um, yeah, we don't need another incident like that and for me to be responsible for it. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to start getting creative. I'm going to have to start. Sarah's got a bunch of amazing cookbooks. I um, guess I'm going to have to dive into those and put some effort into this. I put zero effort into this. I wasn't expecting it or preparing for it, so I blindsided myself with this, which is kind of good in a way. But um, there's some raw foods and recipes that I should probably look into making so that I don't lose my mind. Well here's supper and I have to say it's a little more appealing than a salad to me right now even though there's lettuce. I'm treating myself to a different type of lettuce. Woo! So there's lettuce, tomatoes, basil, carrots, and raw tahini with some spices mixed in it. Still having juice today, I'm gonna do that. And um, let there be no mistake, I would much prefer to be eating some rice right now. Even if it were a very healthy cooked meal, I would rather a cooked meal. Like even just rice and veggies would be nice. But you know what? I'm going to hold strong and at least uh, hopefully you're enjoying my suffering. So here we go, it's the end of day two and I'm going to be glad when this is over. I'm severely bloated. Not sure why that is. Maybe raw food isn't the best food choice for me. Maybe it doesn't mix with me well. But anyway, I'm going to stick it through. There's a good chance I'm going to hate carrot sticks by the end of this. I can't stay mad at you, carrot stick. Fruit, veggies, juicing, salads, avocados, nuts, oils. It's not that bad really. I was actually over able to overeat today, which is nice in its own strange way, but now I'm paying for it. So portion what? Stop rubbing your belly. Oh yeah. I'm rubbing my belly as I speak. So portion control is gonna be have to going to have to be something else that I tackle maybe at a later date, but for now it's deprivation of food that I find comforting. So that's it. No really gruesome details to report today other than just being tired and um, I expect tomorrow is going to get that much more difficult. Probably each day will become exponentially more difficult. So. Stay tuned for tomorrow when I'm probably going to be a grumpy bastard.